The Aldaba Research Station was built in 1971 to not only protect the atoll, but to understand and study it and all the species that call it home. The near pristine seas that surround the atoll support an abundance of marine life, including sharks, rays, and of course, a vast array of fish species. The atoll is also home to one of the largest nesting green turtle populations in the Western Indian Ocean and one of the largest frigate bird breeding populations on the planet. It's also home to the last flightless bird in the Indian Ocean, the white-throated Aldabran rail, and of course the Aldabra giant tortoise, which over a hundred thousand call the atoll home. So we've been researching the tortoises since the station was created and really monitoring their population dynamics and how recruitment and they change over time. We've also been monitoring the plants for nearly 50 years and looking at the phenology, so when they fruit and when they seed, when they're in leaf, etc. And of course, we've also been monitoring the turtles by counting the turtle tracks and that's allowed us to understand how the population has recovered since 1971. But none of this research could be completed without the support of our dedicated logistics team, which not only transfer us around the atoll and the boats, but of course have to maintain them. And the harsh conditions out here mean that there's always maintenance to be done on the boats, regardless of the season. And then maintaining the station itself takes a lot of work and there's repairs almost always ongoing. And as you can see here, the guys are changing the roof around and repairing the Aldabra shop. The research station has been in the same location since it was first built. A few of the buildings have been replaced and as you can see we've moved to almost 100% solar energy now. But let's take a little tour of the station so we can get a better understanding of what it's like. So here we are, you can see Bum Boat, which is one of the first boats that came to Aldaba with the Royal Society. These are some of the accommodation houses. Our mechanic and one of our field research officers live in these two. You've always got to watch out for the giant tortoises as they are everywhere. This is our garden, which is actually one of the oldest buildings that predates the research station. And in there we grow peppers, tomatoes, aubergines. Here we have some more accommodation. This is actually our gym. And there's another communal kitchen in there. And we have a few more houses here. And as you can see, it's quite a long walk for people to get to work who live down that end of town. So let's speed it up a bit. Here's our volleyball court and our football pitch. As staying fit and healthy is very important even on Aldabra. Then we have some more accommodation here on the left and on the right we have our fish shed where we clean our fish after going out and trying to catch some. This is more accommodation on the left. Let's speed it up a bit. So here's the boat shed but let's just pop around the back and see where we sort out all our waste. So everything's separated on Aldabra into different drums because we try to be as sustainable as possible. So we've got glass, plastics, miscellaneous stuff there. We also have aerosols, pet bottles, and aluminium cans. So as much of the waste on Aldaba can be recycled. And it's always important to close it when you leave because you don't want the tortoises or rails to break in. Our engines that need repair are stored around the back of the boat shed. And then we have all our dive equipment in here. Some of those tanks need filling, our life jackets. And this is the boatman's shed in here. We have the fishing gear and all the gear to maintain and repair the boats, some kayaks there to have some fun excursions and all our fuel which is stored there for the boats. This is our biosecurity building which was built two years ago. That's very important as we don't want any invasive species getting here. And then that's a plaque marking the UNESCO designation which was in 1981. It's the UNESCO World Heritage Site. This is the mess, our communal eating area with our communal kitchen. And then this is the most famous giant tortoise, Bisqui who's probably known every human that's ever lived on the atoll. And here we have the accommodation block where visiting researchers stay, just back there on the right. And this is our shop, which is going to go in a major reconstruction. And so things are a bit messy, but we wanted to show you what the station is like right now on the 50th anniversary. So here's our solar panels, which, which were built in 2012, and it's reduced our diesel consumption by 38,000 liters a year. So that's an incredible, incredible saving. 
Um, here on the left we have our workshops which a lot of the stuff has been taken out due to maintenance and repairs and we have our storerooms for building materials, mechanics workshop in there. And then these strange structures are perhaps the most important on station, there are freshwater reservoirs and as you can see the gutters connected from the roof collect all the water that falls on them because fresh water is in short supply, especially during the southeast. So in here we also have our desalination plant which is to supplement the rainfall and towards the end of the southeast we generally have to turn that on quite a lot to produce more fresh water. In here is the old diesel generator room which used to be cranking 24 hours a day but thankfully not anymore, it's gone silent nine years ago. But we do have a backup generator in here and that building was actually built to house the batteries from the solar panel. So here we have the research block, which is not the original building. These wooden sort of log cabins were built in the mid 90s. But this is where the research team works. This is the science coordinator's office and the assistant science coordinator's office. That's our view, but unfortunately the cameraman didn't stop very long. And in here is our library, with all our books to do our research and study. So we're almost at the end of the station now. We've got our rain gauge and weather station just there on the left. And up here, this little building with the solar heater is actually our laundry room. So it's another very important building. Here you can see the island manager sat on the steps of his house. And then cruising down to the last building on station is the science coordinator's house. And of course, the reservoir attached to it. So that's the station tour. But just in case people get lost, we've got a little sign which points them in the direction of the research station, Olagigi, where we keep our boats. So that's the Aldaba Research Station in 2021. It's another aerial sweep over the top. You can see the lighthouse in the research block. Here's to another great 50 years of research and community building on this beautiful atoll.